same in Milwaukee. Guys went for tires, guys didn't go for tires, and it's, I think it's more critical here, tire choice, than it was in Milwaukee. And Townsend, we were kind of joking about this earlier today with the guys, and I guess you can because it's a, a year on, but I can't remember if it was Tony Canal or Scott Dixon, one of the Ganassi boys got on the radio and asked the team and said, are these guys on the lead lap? Are we actually racing them? And they said, yes, you are, get going. Well, so many times you can find yourself out of sequence or lose track of the big picture when you're in the cockpit. You rely on your team to keep you posted. And there was such a huge speed differential as we saw here between, as Paul said, the guys that took tires late in the race and that fresh rubber allowed people like Hunter Ray to just rocket up through the field. And it's, uh, it's quite amazing when we end up in that situation. We had it in Milwaukee. High probability we're going to have it here tonight in Iowa. Paul, you've been the hunter and you've been the hunted. What does it feel like when you're Ryan Hunter Ray here last year, just chasing him down, knowing you've got a car that is way faster than the two oh, it's, a, it's a fantastic feeling. It's the, it's that dream you have when you're a kid and you're playing ball in your front yard and you think that at the last second that you're going to hit the winning shot. So he came through the field, he took the lead with a couple laps to go, and that's the, the things you dream about when you're a kid, to be able to do that. You can't believe how much Ryan Hunter Ray needs a good result here tonight in Iowa. He's only had two or three top tens this year, best result of fifth at Barber Motorsports Park. So he wants to keep that Andretti uh, consistency and that record going here at Iowa Speedway. And this is in the closing stages, and Tony Kanaan was a sitting duck. Yeah, Kanaan really was. You know, when you're in that situation, you're just time can't go fast enough. You're trying to hang on to that lead, and these last laps just feel like an eternity because you know that Hunter Ray is just coming and coming strong. And remember that at this point last year, Tony Kanaan had won a race frustratingly, and he thought that this was going to be his moment to win in Chip Ganassi Racing Colors, and it didn't happen. Ryan Hunter Ray was there, and Joseph Newgarden. The pain hadn't ended for Tony Kanaan because there, that next car, the white, yellow, and black car approaching was Joseph Newgarden. So for the two of, two of the guys who put on those fresh tires at the end of last year's race, Ryan Hunter Ray and Joseph Newgarden on this last lap, slid into first and second position, and that's the way it stayed right to the very end. I want to bring in Jan Beekins on this because, Jan, I, I know how much you love strategy and we're always talking about it last weekend in milwaukee 